Welcome to the DLR webcast. As hopefully everybody knows, at uh, DLR we are responsible for the satellites Terrasa-X and Tandem-X. So it seems natural that we have a huge amount of papers concerning these two radar missions which are, on, uh, which are going and very successful and we are very proud of these. The papers naturally cover the whole chain. It's not only the instrument, it's not only the data takes that are taken, but also the processing and everything else that is done. And in this, uh, from this context, I expect to have a big visibility for the for these two uh, missions, basically at the at the conference here. Surely, daily we get locally we get new information and new uh, knowledge about what is going on with the data of Terrasa X and uh, Tandem X. This is something natural if you work with the data and if you work with the problems that occur with the data. And this is something that is not seen by everybody, but because what the user get are their information that they want to have. But we are dealing with the data and we are processing the data. And since we have these new missions for the first time, nobody has done this before. Obviously, there are lots of things which we did not know before. And now we are learning for this. And this is of great value, although, although for us here at DLR, to for the next missions that will come in this area. Sure, this is what I work, my work field at the DLR. Um, we are not interested what is currently in orbit, not so much. We are not so much interested what is being built on ground now, but we are interested in what happens in the future, how the systems will look. And uh, this started a few years, years ago, and we know that the answer to most of the problems that we have with SAR is called digital beamforming. The basic idea of this, the very basic idea of this, is to have record things with several channels simultaneously at the same time. And it can be shown that with these techniques, you can improve the resolution and the coverage at the same time. And this was till now a fundamental limit of all SAR systems. They all had this problem. And this is what we're working on, the, together with the industry in Germany and other industries also. And this is what the future systems will all have. The details of this are, of course, not they're kind of complex and mathematical also. But again, digital beamforming is the future. Thank you. This was a DLR webcast.